What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with another Tales of Crystoria video. So, they dropped on us a teaser for our next EX banner, once again, as they like to do at random times. Sometimes it's at the beginning of the month, sometimes it's at the end of a month. This time it's at the end of a month. So, uh, we do have a new EX unit to talk about, and I mean, I, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I do have a little bit of a complaint with this uh, edition right now, but we'll get into that in a second. Uh, maintenance just ended. Let's see how much they gave us. They usually give us... Okay, they give us some gleam stones for, uh, you know, maintenance stuff for, you know, bug fixes and stuff. That's always welcome. Uh, let me just click this real quick. Clearly have not played much today. And let's take a look. We have quite a few things to actually, uh, to, uh, go... Actually, we have two things to go over. So let's first go over limited SSR Arietta. Before we get into this, I do want to kind of, I mean, I'm a lot of people are kind of of the same mindset, but I'll just quickly say why I'm not too happy about this right now is just Abyss has gotten like, Abyss keeps getting these like waves of, um, I guess favoritism, so to speak. You know, a while back we got the seasonal uh, Jade and then, you know, Guy immediately followed uh, and then before that, we had the, uh, I mean, it's almost been a year since the, uh, seasonal Luke, but, you know, there was a bit there, and it was like, okay, we got a few things there, all right, time to take a break, and then now we've gotten, you know, we got seasonal guy, we got the, we got the seasonal Anis, like, shortly before that, and then we got the regular Anis, and now we're getting an Arietta. So it's just a lot of Abyss stuff. So unless they're just trying to tell us that a remake or a remaster of Tales of the Abyss is coming, um, I feel like this is a bit much for Abyss when games like Legendia still don't have an SSR yet. But it is what it is. Let's go over it. That's enough of my rant. Um, banner drops Friday. I assume it drops at the same time that the story chapter is going to be going live. Um, so it will be Friday morning, uh, which means Friday night we will go ahead and do the live stream uh, for the, uh, side story, which you saw before is Mila. Um, I didn't stream my Tales of the Rays chapter because when the Rays chapter came out, I still felt like it was too early. Um, I know people are going to want to ask me my thoughts on Tales of Arise and stuff like that, and I will talk about my feelings, but I'm not going to go into spoilers, and obviously I don't want people to spoil each other in the chat, so I am going to be very careful with when we're doing the Crystoria chapter. I'm mostly going to focus on the Crystoria stuff, uh, you know, my review for Tales of Rise and all that stuff will come out over time. Um, so I'm really, I really just don't want to spoil people. I want people to have, you know, their authentic experience with the game. But anyways, let's look at what Arietta does. She has 17,000 HP uh, for her Memoria, 2,900 attack and 400 defense. So she's clearly going to be an offensive unit, an <laughs> extreme glass cannon. Uh, her Memoria skill gives plus 56% damage to Dark Allies Mystic Arts, so that's going to be very useful for any Dark unit, honestly. Um, Arietta, Song of Pathos. She is a Dark Arts unit. Uh, 42,600 HP, not bad. 5,100 attack and 3,600 defense. Even for defense, it's like it's low, but it's not like crazy low. It's not in the 2,000s kind of low. Um, and of course, if you add her Memoria... You know, she's pretty much going to cap out at 4,000 defense, which is still pretty low. But um, with the damage she's going to be putting out, I'm it's probably going to be worth it. Um, skill, the Monster Whisperer. 20% uh, attack to Dark Allies and 50% attack to Dark Allies at 60 hits. So if you're building up that combo, it's going to be great. Uh, her Mystic Guard is Big Bang. 220% damage, one hit, all enemies. Uh, okay, so she's an attack all unit. That's what she's going to be good for, so that's pretty nice. Um, sharpness is her first art, so she has a buff. Uh, attack up 34% one ally for nine turns, so if you use it on herself, uh, you can actually stack that, because the cooldown is only two turns, so you can give her multiple of those if you're really just, you know, trying to make her stronger. Um, she'd actually be really good, and, you know, if you did get EX Mythos, you know, right before the anniversary, uh, running them together is gonna be a very good combo, because he'll be able to build up that combo for her. Uh, additional effect, 100% chance to increase attack of one ally by 34% for three turns, so I assume it's a double stack? Or do you get to do it on another ally? 
I feel it sounds like it's a double stack for sharpness. Um, and then Bloody Howling is her second art, 90% damage, 15 hits, all enemies. So she's kind of her own combo builder in and of itself, because if you have three enemies, that's 45 hits you're getting between all that. Yeah, this buff can be stacked. Okay, so you're pretty much, every time you use Sharpness, whoever you use it on is getting a double buff. So they're getting two of the 30, so they're basically getting a 68% uh, attack buff uh, every time you do it. So, I mean, it'll still be stacked as, like, two separate buffs. It's going to have two of the bars, but uh, that's still really, really good. Um, usual stuff, 20 multis in order to pity her. Um, she's a very solid dark unit. Realistically, if she was another character that I cared about more, um, this would probably be... Not like I have the gems to summon right now, but uh, this would be a unit I would definitely consider going for. Um, you know, if this was... Uh, Trying to think of an EA. If this was like Duke or something, I, I think I would definitely summon. Uh, let's take a look at... So we have Mila's side story also dropping on Friday. So same thing. Uh, we really have no idea where... Okay, so she's obviously going to meet up with Jude. Um, we really haven't seen anything. You know, Mila's been in some side stories. Like she was in the Christmas one at the end of last year. But we haven't really seen like what happened when she got separated from Velvet. Uh, you know, that early on. But obviously... Um, we see that she's going to run into Jude, and then this is this story is obviously going to be about her and Jude uh, going on an adventure together, which makes sense. Um, but beyond that, that's pretty much it. Um, I guess there's been an error uh, that was fixed. Um, stuff with Mystic Art animations, stuff like that. And the only other thing to talk about is the Phantom Tower actually reset today. So... Uh, if you want to, uh, it, it's, it's felt like quite a while, but uh, it, now is the time to go back through. I assume it's going to be the same as last month, 47 floors. Um, yep, 47 floors, and of course, they still haven't changed. I think people don't really want Kyle anymore. <laughs> so uh, it would be nice if next month they uh, switch it up and give us a new Memoria to start going for, but... That's going to be it, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. If you're going to summon for Arietta, definitely uh, let me know how you do if you do summon. And, uh, yeah, we should have another banner reveal probably early next week. Um, you know, next Monday is going to be the 27th, so that'll probably be the most ideal time since uh, we'll definitely have another banner drop on the 30th, I would assume. When does this banner go away? Yeah, exactly seven days. So, yeah, on the 30th, basically... Um, or the 29th, rather, but it'll be close enough. Um, that will be when we get another double banner. I presume probably a seasonal one, uh, because I don't think they're going to do two normal character banners back-to-back. -back. I mean, I'm not going to complain if they do, because we could definitely use it, uh, you know, start giving some more characters some SSRs. Uh, if they want to give one of the Legendia characters a seasonal that has an SR, you know, like, uh... You know, two off the top of my head, Norma and... Well, they're not going to give Norma because they just gave us a stone for her. But if they want to give us, like, a seasonal uh, Senel, I will 100% take that. Or if they just want to do a character that doesn't have a unit yet. Um, but yeah, so we'll be on the lookout for that when that happens. But that's going to be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what you guys think down below. Don't forget to subscribe more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.